All right, today I'm gonna be showing you how to set the pressure on your unloader. Uh, a lot of people have a lot of tr trouble, trouble with this when they're not getting the pressure they believe they should be. Uh, it's gonna be pretty simple. A few of the tools I'm gonna use to do this is a 13 millimeter socket, flathead screwdriver, and two 7 16 line wrenches. I also have a high pressure gauge so that I can uh, properly measure my pressure and a pressure washer tip that matches the gallons per minute of my pump. And uh, what that means is this is a four gallon per minute tip and I'm using a four gallon per minute pump. It's important that these two uh, parts match and I'll show you uh, kind of why that's important later on in this video. And uh, all right, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be putting this high pressure gauge here um, right at my unloader just so I can measure my pressure as it leaves the machine. So this is gonna actually go right here in between my unloader, my outlet, and my high pressure hose. And this is gonna be giving me a measurement as I leave the machine. Another important factor is this tip that I mentioned earlier. Um, this tip has to be in the gun while we're doing uh, this setting. Uh, if you have the improper tip, your setting will not be set correctly. So we have the right tip for the right pump and we're ready to go. Let's crank this bad boy up. All right, so I'm testing my machine while holding down the trigger on my gun. And as I crank down my unloader, you can see here I'm only getting right around 2400 PSI. When I release the trigger, it spikes a few hundred PSI up to 2700 but um, definitely lacking in power. All right, so as you can see, while the machine was running and my unloaders cranked all the way down, I was only getting around 2,500 PSI, and this pump is rated for a maximum of 4,000. So, you know, what's, what's going on with my extra 1,500 PSI? So in order to go ahead and get into that, the first thing I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna be doing is adjusting my unloader. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pop off this little cap I'm just going to use a flathead and go ahead and expose a nut there. And I'm going to be backing this nut off. Go ahead and get it out of there. And now I can just turn this black cap as if I'm lowering my pressure. And I'm actually going to get it to come all the way off. So now that I've got that off, you see a spring and a washer here. I'm also going to go ahead and set those to the side. And what you see here are two, I uh, guess, lock nuts is what we could call them. Um, this is what controls how low this black cap can go down. Obviously, it has more space to be adjusted lower. The lower I adjust these two, the higher my potential pressure can be. So obviously, when I want to build pressure a little higher, I'm going to lower them. If I wanted to restrict the amount of pressure my machine can have, I would bring them up. So what I'm gonna do is taking two 7 16 and I'm gonna just go ahead and kind of loosen these up. Once I got them loose, I'm just gonna go ahead and move this one down. Uh, but I moved it down. Looks like I have three threads exposed from the bottom. I'm gonna test it out there. Uh, be before I made this adjustment, I was maxing out at around 2,500. Now I should feel like I should max out right around 3,500. And then I'm going to tighten them up by uh, tightening the bottom one while holding the top one. And uh, they apply pressure to themselves and that'll keep them from moving around as the machine vibrates. So now I'm gonna go ahead and reset everything back just the way I found it. Go ahead and crank this down and Get my nut back on there. Great. So now I'm gonna turn the machine back on and recheck the pressure. Let's see what happens. Okay, now I'm going to be cranking my unloader down while holding the trigger down on my gun and just letting it slowly build up pressure. You can see here, getting it right up to around 3,500 PSI, and I'm gonna release the trigger just so I can see where it spikes. Um, but when it spikes, I wanna make sure it doesn't cross that 4,000 PSI mark, because that's the max amount of pressure this pump can handle. So 
My working pressure is right around 3,500 PSI. I'm spiking at around 3,800, and I'm happy with that. It's good. 